Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes! We are back with Bound on the PlayStation 4. Now, before we get into it, apologies that there hasn't been no Bound episodes for a couple of days. As you guys know, I think I mentioned it in Bound Part 2, I was actually on holiday, so I've not actually had a chance to record any of Bound yet, so all the videos you've been watching were recorded like weeks in advance. So yeah, now I'm back from holiday and I've got everything sorted out, I'm going to carry on with Bound. So yeah, sorry about the uh, delay. So what have we established so far? Now we know the woman, <coughs> at the beginning of the game that we saw, the pregnant woman, she has got a book. And inside this book, like a little notebook, it's like she's drawn her memories of her childhood. And this little ballerina girl we're playing as right now, I think that's supposed to represent the blonde woman that we saw at the beginning. That giant monster up there that's like literally screaming at us and going to give us nightmares. I think that represents her dad. And I think... That uh, woman angel thing is supposed to represent her mother. But it looks like she's had a very bad childhood. And we're sort of like reliving her memories through this like, this like strange world. I guess that's, I guess that monster is how she sees her own father. So I've got to be honest with you, Wolf Movets. Looking at that monster, it must seem like her dad's a bit of an arsehole. <laughs> if that is actually her dad. I've not finished this yet. I'm pretty close to it. So I still don't actually know what's up. So it's just all, it's all guesswork for me. But yeah, enough talking from Beowulf. Let's do it. I gotta tell you, uh, big scary, uh, creepy monster, you do make this game a pain in the ass to edit because every time I edit it, I need to lower the volume down on every single one of your screams. Could having a right argument. <clears throat> I suppose it makes sense. It'll be like her dad there is having an argument with her mother. God fucking hell. Oh, oh fucking. I, I don't actually know if these roars do anything. I think they just sort of like. Uh, I don't know. It's like they paralyze you for a minute with fright. They don't actually seem to knock you off the uh, edge of the world or anything, so we should we could be alright. I'll tell you, ballerina, I've got no idea how you can keep doing that stretch. Because to me, it just looks like you're going to break your spine. Okay, so if we... Uh, how do I dance? I've not played this for about two weeks, so I've kind of forgotten all the buttons. Okay, so R2 to dance. Right, I'm going to get shield going, and then what we're going to do is we're going to press circle and then cross. Because then you do a massive look. Look at that. Look at that jump you do. It's absolutely spectacular. I'll tell you, if I could jump like that in real life, that'd be brilliant. Okay. I've gotten a bit better at jumping since I recorded, so hopefully I don't unnecessarily kill the poor ballerina a few times and then you guys end up laughing at me. Because I did read the comments for part two and some people were laughing at me for my, for my stupid deaths, pretty much. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm not quite sure why I'm so bad at jumping in this game, because she actually jumps very well. Because some characters in games are just terrible at jumping. For example, Nathan Drake. Even though Nathan Drake is like the most best adventurer in the world, he is very terrible at jumping. Every time I seem to jump in that game, he seems to just never make it to the ledge and always falls on his ass in a deep, scary hole. Whereas this ballerina, she seems to listen to me pretty well, actually. I mean, I've got no idea how, you, how you're so good at jumping because you don't even have eyeballs, you know, so it's a mystery. I don't know if uh, the edge guard being turned off is going to affect this thing. Can you actually fall off of these things? Should I try? Should I see if I can full off? No, okay, it doesn't look like you can full off. Can you? Yeah, I think you can run as well. Yeah, alright, so that's alright then. Well, so what is our mission at the moment? We had to do something involving the saviour. We had to go meet somebody called the saviour, and they were going to help us defeat the monster, which I suppose is my dad. <clears throat> we saw the uh, saviour. He didn't really help us. We'd done a bit of dancing, and then he vanished, so I don't actually know what he's doing. <laughs> so I don't know what our mission is at the moment. I should have probably watched part two as a recap, but never mind. <clears throat> cool. Oh, there we go. I think I mentioned this last time. Those are the memory shards, and you're supposed to collect all of them, all of them in each level, and then it will complete this light, this portrait right here. So you need to find all of the memory shards. Some of them are hidden in very uh, fucking hell. <laughs> Some of them are hidden in very uh, sneaky places. So you've got to keep your eyes open. <clears throat> cool, sorry. Sorry about that, Wolf Mother. It's got a very, uh, very froggy throat. Okay, so this is going to be one of her memories. I mean, them two don't look, they look... They look a bit scared, whatever they're doing. So I think this right here is the little girl. From the beginning of the game. And I'm going to assume that's her brother. It looks like he's covering her ears. Yeah, he's covering her ears, isn't he? Got a uh, very fantastic bike there. 
Got to love a good bike in your Waltham Warfare. It's got to tell you, that's my favourite form of transport. A bicycle. Or a motorbike. That's also good. I'm not a car man. Me, I'm more of a bike man. What's that? Oh. Oh, that's her mum, ain't it? Cool. Your, your mum is wearing some uh, pretty goth-tastic lipstick, isn't she? Flipping hell. She could be in... Uh, she could be in My Chemical Romance with those lips. Oh, here we go. Yeah, see, look. Yeah, it's like her mum and dad are shouting and arguing and uh, her brother over there is trying to cover her ears so she don't have to hear them arguing. Yeah. Stop arguing in front of your kids. What kind of people are you, you sons of bitches? Yeah, I mean, he definitely looks like that creepy monster, doesn't he? He seems like he's got a big mouth as well, doesn't he? Yeah. I think my prediction for this game might have actually been correct, which would be the first time ever. Because normally in games like this, I get very confused. But this one's actually... Pretty flipping fantastic, actually. Is there anything else around here I'm missing? I'm not sure if you collect memory shards if it affects this like this like mini cutscene bit here. Like if I don't collect all the memory shards, I'm not sure if it makes like less of this area load or not. I'm not sure. But I know you have to collect memory shards to fill in the portrait that we just saw a minute ago. You actually get a trophy for doing it as well, so keep an eye out for all of the uh, memory shards. Should we make a dance? I mean, that seems to be her way of defending herself. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look, there we go. Look. As she's dancing, those weird, like, saviour-looking ball things are appearing. Ugh. <laughs> you are, you're terrifying, you are, mate. Oh, here we go. I love these bits. These bits are sort of like Journey. You know in Journey when you slide down those very long like scarf looking things you just sort of glide. Sort of like that. I think you can actually hold buttons and make her dance as she goes down. Actually, whilst we're doing this I'm going to hold the R2 button because I'm pretty sure I mentioned this but it's actually a trophy for making her dance continuously for one minute. So we might as well just see if we can get that. I'm not sure if this counts as dancing though, because it looks like she's just doing a fancy skid. Sort of like the skids you used to do at school. You know, when you're at school and you're in the hall, you know, the uh, the um, the lunch hall, and it's very slippery floors, isn't it? And then you run along the floor and you skid, and then the teacher tells you off for skidding around on the floor. That's basically what she's doing right now. <laughs> oh, look at that! It's like a big ball of yarn. I think I've been holding the R2 for longer than a minute. Yeah, I guess it's not going to pan on here. Can I actually full off of this thing? <laughs> I'm trying to be very careful, but these things might actually be safe and I could just, you know, relax and slide along without any fear. Damn, this is a long slide. Where are we going? Come on, ballerina, hurry. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I guess you need to actually stand on the... Uh, stand on the actual floor to do the dancing trophy. You can't be doing it on the slide. Oh, well, never mind. Let's start running. Oh. Oh, another scene. I have to try and be careful because some of these scenes go off very quickly before you actually see anything. So I've got, I've got to try and uh, be very quick so you actually see everything. Oh, see, look, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a teaser for the next uh, scene that we're going to see at the end of the level or if it's just, you know, I don't know, leading us to the next level maybe. Oh! I'll tell you, Wolf and Wolfets. I've been on holiday for like a week, you know. 
and you know when I was on holiday it was pretty it was pretty warm it wasn't hot or anything it was warm it was acceptable weather you know and then I've come back from holiday I've not recorded for the first few days after being back from holiday because I had a few things to do and I was still with my fiance and that and uh, it was still pretty just you know lukewarm weather I guess and now I've put this mask on I've started recording the uh, flipping Helios, the sun god, must really hate me. I guess after I ripped his head off in God of War 3, he's just really mad with me. Because it's bloody hot as hell again, with like pure blue skies. Damn. <laughs> I really love this sand. I really do love this sand. But as you can see, she's holding this book, and that girl in the scene does look like her, doesn't it? Like a little girl version of her. It's just like we're playing through her memories. I'm not sure where we're walking, mind you. We're either going to be heading towards that house, maybe. Okay, so we go to the next level then, yeah? That looks like a tree. It's sort of like a different version to that uh, other game that's not come out yet. You know that game Drawn to Death where you play through a kid's like childhood notebook drawings? <laughs> sort of like that. Was he the same monster or was he a different monster? Is that the same dude that keeps like scaring us or is that a different guy? Maybe that's supposed to be her brother. I really wish you would stop doing that bending thing, uh, ballerina, because you're just going to give me a backache. Every time I look at it, I just, my back just cringes. Uh, this stuff here, this like spaghetti looking crap. Uh, when you're near it, you have to keep your shield up. I'm not sure if we've seen this before, but you need to keep your shield up. Otherwise, it grabs hold of you and stops you from moving. So if you go to jump over a hole and this crap is nearby, it will grab hold of you and you'll end up falling in a hole. <laughs> I should probably run a bit more. I keep forgetting I can run. I just sort of stroll through this game looking at everything, you know. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's have a look back here. See if there's any of those hidden little memory shards. So far in my own playthrough, I've not I've not unlocked a single trophy for uh, collecting all of the shards, so I'm, I'm definitely missing some. So I should keep my eyes open a bit more. Looks like DNA, doesn't it? Oh, now these are pretty much massive uh, memory shards. Oh no, right, uh, I'm, I'm supposed to, oh, I think I might remember this area actually, I think there's a lot of like, very awkwardly placed big memory shards. Yeah it is. Now I think to get some of these you're going to have to roll and jump. Now ho thankfully we're not trying to get any trophies for not dying, so if I roll here and we jump we should be able to make it. Oh what a fantastic, oh no the floor, oh, oh shit that. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Come on. I could do some wall jumping. Does this does this go up if we jump? Oh, okay. Right, so... <laughs> we, we shouldn't stand on them for too long. That doesn't look very safe. God, the distance of your jumps are insane. Is she, I wish she had a name. We need to think of a name. In the comments section, Wolf Morvets. Think of a name for this character, because uh, I can't just keep calling her Ballerina all the time. I need to give her an actual name. And uh, being a man... Oh, no! <laughs> being a man, I'm not really good at naming girls, you know. What would be a ballerina-type name? I'm trying to think of any, like, children's toys where you where, you, where it's like a ballerina. What was that old toy? You had, you had that toy, not Barbie, it was the other blonde girl. I think it might have been Polly. 
or Polly Pocket or something like that. It's like a little girl's toy. I don't know if she was a ballerina because we could maybe... Oh, shh. <laughs> oh, but yeah, we could name her Polly maybe. There we go, quick. Quick, because you want to be a... No, no, no. Oh, fantastic moves. Fantastic moves. I suppose we should keep a right, uh, keep an eye out because some of these things we might be able to actually wall jump on. Ouch! That bloody spaghetti stuff tried to kill us. Then you see it. Right, let's do it really quick. Quick, quick, quick! No, no, no! Please, no, no ballerina. That's not good. Oh, ballerina! Come on! Oh dear! No oh, dear. Actually, I'm just looking at my vi video. Oh, I shouldn't have been looking at my video camera, but uh, my uh, family went on holiday. Some of them at the beginning of the six weeks holiday, like around the beginning, and uh, obviously they've seen my videos that Chunky Lappy made of the uh, seagull that stole my hot donut. So they brought me back like a little snow globe. With a seagull inside it, just to troll me, because that's the kind of family I've got. Even my own family troll me. So yeah, I have to show you guys that uh, that next episode. I can't get it at the moment because my camera's in. If I do that, I'm going to end up whacking the camera. <laughs> but yeah, next episode I'll show you that little snow globe. It's got a little seagull in it. It's pretty damn cute actually, even though it's probably going to nick all my hot donuts. Oh, there we go. Good job, ballerina, Polly, or whatever the hell my subs desire to name you. Hopefully something good. <laughs> Is this like a hidden wall? Can I go up here? No, I probably don't want to go out there. It looks like there's weird DNA stuff out there. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! It's a very good job that I'm not trying to complete this without dying. I don't know how easy this game is by using the shortcuts. I mean, if you use the shortcuts, it might it might make dying pretty... Uh, it might make not dying pretty simple, but I don't know. I've not actually found... I've only found one shortcut in the whole game so far, so... I'm not sure, but... So far, it looks like completing this game without dying is going to be impossible. I've already seen some people do it, actually. I went onto the PlayStation. Uh, who is that? That's not the same guy, is it? That's a different guy. He's flopped out the chair like a fat flipping fat git. <laughs> Is that supposed to be her brother or something? I don't know. Maybe that is also her dad. Or maybe that is actually her dad. Because it sounds like a girl that's asking her dad for help. And she, he's just like, you know, being one of those crappy dads that don't care about their kids and don't help them or nothing. You know, a crappy parent. Or it could be her brother, you know, who's broke something and he's not helping her fix it. So many possibilities. So many possibilities. Oh, what's over here? I don't think I've been over here before. No, uh, nothing by the looks of it. Maybe. Maybe there's something over there. Or there might actually be something hidden around there, actually. Could be a shortcut. Right, let's get my shield on. Otherwise, we're going to end up getting, like, grabbed. Huah! What kind of jump was that? What's that all about? Oh, we did it! Oh! Hang on a minute. Let's try that again. Oh look, is that? Hey, this could this might actually be a shortcut. I don't think I've unlocked any trophies for shortcuts yet. So if it is a if it is a shortcut, we'll get a trophy. So you will know if it's a shortcut or not. Oh no! Oh, oh, so you can be murdered by these paper planes. I don't know. I suppose paper cuts are pretty deadly, aren't they? Right, I'm gonna get a shield on, and we're gonna grab onto this. Whoa. What's going on? What the? They keep murdering me. What are they doing? Let's get a shield on. Sh right, I've got... I think that's a shield now. If I, No, it seems like my shield keeps getting removed. 
Ow! You bastards! Okay, right, we're not going this way, it, it looks like. I have to go back the other way. It means I'm going to have to do that jump again, ain't I? Oh, these paper planes are annoying. I'm going to get over here and I'm going to have to end the video for today. I think we made a bit of progress today. Well, I think we did a bit better in this video than we did in the other uh, two because I just kept getting myself murdered in that one. Kept, like, jumping off of cliffs and stuff. Oh! Sort of like that. There we go. Hey! Maybe if I try and finish this game without dying, I might record it, you know? Obviously, I won't be in the video. It'll just be a straight-up gameplay video. See if I can do it and I'll upload it so you guys can see. Okay. Right, I'm going to leave myself here dancing. So yeah, thanks for watching Wolf Mob. That's hopefully you're enjoying this game. And that's a different type of game and not everybody's going to enjoy it. But you know, I like to keep it different on this channel. I like doing some big games like Uncharted. I like doing some of the games like Sly Cooper that are quite old. Or Crash Team Racing. I like doing a few of the indie games like this. You know, because indie for me, indie games are the best. They're, they're, they're the games where I can commentate the most because... There's always different stuff in indie games that you don't get in the big games, you know, because most of the big AAA developers are too afraid to do anything new, you know, so it, for me it's just easier commentating in games like this. Sometimes it's a bit awkward, you know, because there's not really any story in this, you know, it's just sort of guesswork. But yeah, I, I do like this game. So yeah, thanks for watching Wolf Awaits, hopefully you enjoy, let me know in the comments, like, share and join the pack today. Oh